welcome back. And um, and here we go with the grand final of the great TV game show. Which, oh dear. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry, we've been having a little trouble lately. We're just just running a little down in the funds area at the moment, but. I, I'm sure we paid the bill. It wouldn't be anything like that. Just hang on. This is... Hang on. I'll fix this. Ringing now. Yeah, Richard. Eh? Right on, right on, right. Bill! We got a blackout down at 10. Did you pay that electricity bill? Oh, sure I did. Ah. Must be a fuse. A fuse? Yeah, hey, better get down there. Oh, okay, right. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes, I think I might Here we've uh, located the source of the problem, I Rich. I can rectify this immediately. Yes, sir, we can fix it. Yes, there seems to be a hair on the fuse. Oh, yeah, apparently Greg Evans has bought himself a new turbo charged hair drive. Right? Playing the whole system, yeah. Here we here go. We try that. Hit it. Nice oh, to get it. Well done. Oh, oh, well. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. But we cover from things like that and just keep moving straight on. That's a professional type of show it is. Look at that, even the bing bong right on cue. That signifies, of course, a bonus round. The Friedland door chimes. Now, behind our door is a mystery guest because this is a who am I round. So the mystery guest starts speaking. You guys bong in whenever you recognise them. OK, mystery guest, take it away. I was born in Trundle in New South Wales, the daughter of a policeman. At the age of 14, I gave away my piano studies to concentrate on my acting career working through the day in a bank and at nights performing with amateur theatre societies. A few years later I joined the Ensemble Theatre and thus began my professional career as an actress. Ooh, anyone like to bong in now? No? Happily wait for more clues? Fine, OK. First one in gets it. Take it away, Mr Guest. In the late 60s, as well as theatre work, I worked frequent, frequently with Crawford Productions on a number of police dramas and later in a number of films, including that international hit The Man from Snowy River. In. Stop there. Emma. Lorraine Bailey? Yes, Lorraine Bailey. Well done. <laughs> and welcome in right here, ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Bailey. Oh, look at that. It's Lorraine Sullivan. Oh, that's first class. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine oh. Bailey. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yes. Celebrity, guest, everything on the on the grand final of the great TV game show. It's a pleasure to be here. Hi. Gosh, see all those happy, smiling faces and things? Yes, they are, aren't Now, they? of course, it, it, no better to have for our grand final than your good self, of course, because not only all the roles you made famous, but, of course, play school. Way back when, yes. Way back when. I, I feel like I, I grew up watching play school. Could you sense me at the other end of the television growing up through that? I years? certainly <laughs> could. You know how to age a person in one sentence, don't oh, that, you? <laughs> oh, yeah, good thing. Well, it is my birthday. I'm allowed to do stuff like yes, that. Yes, I know. Happy birthday, by the oh, way. thanks very much. Actually... Service, present, present later? Yeah, that's okay, I understand. I've got there, yeah, I know. We remember lots of exciting things about play school. And was it was it fun for you to do? All it those was. Things? It was. Um, I mean, it was. It's a very good show for kids. Mm. Um, but it was fun, and I mean, the people, the regulars, uh, are really like a big family, and uh, and you have good, really good fun. And it was almost like life. Not everything you, went you, right. you, Yeah, oh, little things mucked up. Actually, we happen to have just casually footage of a, of a very classic snafu. Now, of course, you, you're brilliant with animals, and you spent one play school <laughs> moment <laughs> with with the large elephant, and let's look at you casual. Oh, I know what you mean. A circus called Ashton Circus. And the people from the circus have let her come into play school today, just so you can see her. Philip, Philip, thank you, Philip, for, bring, for bringing Alu into play school today. Philip's a keeper. He looks after her. Is Abu the biggest circus in the elephant? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the biggest yes. elephant in the circus? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous with Abu around, because she's so big. Right, covered it beautifully. A little bit nervous, she looked a lot nervous. A, a little bit nervous, yeah, but you didn't do that fatal thing, and that is get behind the elephant. So many. Nah. That is, that can be so fatal. Now, of course, it's the role we all love and remember you from is from the Sullivans. And is, does it surprise you that Grace has, has lived on in everyone's memory for so long? Um, it does a little bit, but not really. I mean, she, she's the kind of woman that people can aspire to, um, men can uh, like, women can like kids can like as, as a mother figure and the series itself has endured so well in, in australian television well, history too it, there were such such good scripts i remember um it was one role that i did audition for and i was really sitting you know the classic thing sitting at home waiting for the phone to ring mm. i really wanted that role because um i liked very much what the script had to say and what the series uh, right. eventually had to say. It, it became so much a part of our history too earlier in the series we talked about sadly your house grace's house that went under the yes. hammer and this will just take us back to the auction series here $50 I'll take. 
$50. Grace would be turning in a grave about Anyone this. Anyone like to start me? $50. It's looking like it's the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. There it I is. did, I did, bro. You're in there. I'll take it. Come on, I'll take it, I'll take it. Now, the series was very successful for you. Personally, it gave you international uh, acclaim and I... you won awards and all that sort of stuff. What, what made you leave the series early? Well, um, I, I was there for two and a half years, although I did go on for seven years. Mm -hmm. But um, there were personal reasons at the time. But also, I think, in retrospect, it was the wise thing to do. It must be very hard to, once you're in a role, to pick the time to say, oh, no, time for me to leave now. I think I've done what I wanted to do. Yes, I think two years seems, for me, seems yeah. to be um, long enough, because with Carson's Law um, also, that was just two years, and I think that was just right. Mm, well, of course, Carson's Law went on, and that was a great role for you as Jennifer Carson. What, what appealed to you so much about Jennifer? Well, it was set in the 1920s, which appealed to me, because I like the 20s clothes. Lovely frocks. Yeah. Um, I didn't have all the, the prettiest ones, though, because I was in mourning for the first three months, so yeah. I, was, I wore a lot of black. Yeah, tragic. Um, and then black gowns in, in uh, court. But um, the issues, the issues in the 20s uh, paralleled the issues um, of today quite a lot. The drug problem, um, mm. abortion, quite a, quite a few mm. that you can mention that you keep seeing on the telly yeah, on the news now yeah, for sure. were very heavy issues. Well, and of course you were with a great uh, cast as well, and we've actually got footage of you in, in a heated argument. Here you are, going hammer and tongs. <laughs> with Kevin, I bet. Consorting with the enemy, that's what it is. An unwarranted abuse of privilege. What's everyone going to think? I don't live my life according to what other people may or may not think. No, you don't care, do you? Except the shelter of the family name and the honour that goes with it, and then turn around and spit in our faces. I'm not a Carson chattel. And Major Dolman is no enemy. Whining and dining. He's a gentleman. And as far as I can tell, a man of honour. He's an atheist. A godless radical who's already defected from his own party. You've never even met the man. I've never met the devil either, but I've got enough sense to keep away from him. It's a damn shame you and Bill didn't have a dozen children. That would have kept you in line. I'm fed up with you. I won't have you carrying on like this. I'll carry on as I see fit. You can bully the rest of the family, but don't waste your time shouting at me. <laughs> Oh, feisty stuff. <laughs> that was great. Love the hat. Oh, yeah, lovely hat. And, and lots of nice gesturing, too. <laughs> Lorraine, congratulations and thank you for being our special guest. And you don't go away empty handed. Of course, Jane Holmes is here and a big, a big Grace Sullivan's fan is Jane Holmes. Oh. And she's here with coffee and biscuits and all sorts. Oh, it's also glamorous okay. tonight, too. Oh, I even had a shower before the show tonight, Lorraine. Oh, this is a big one. oh I noticed. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Listen, I wanted to ask you I must be one of your biggest fans. I, I'm still weeping from Grace's death. But we have had your second biggest fan on the show lately, and that's a guy by the name of Paul Carty. Now, he was with the Gladstone Bags. And I don't oh. know if you've seen Paul, but he took yes. his Lorraine adoration a little bit too far. We have actually a picture of Paul dressed as, uh, as Grace may have been dressed here. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, how does I that make you? <laughs> her absolutely, especially the expression. Yeah. <laughs> what have they done to her then? And the only difference, of course, were the legs. Yours are better and his are hairier. I think we see them, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're very similar, actually. It's frightening, isn't it? He's come along tonight. We're just, oh, we've all got money on whether he's wearing another of Grace's frocks. Sitting there in the audience, yes. Paul Carney, look at yourself. <laughs> No, don't hide. We've all seen you now. <laughs> Different hairstyle. Yes, slightly. He's taken the bob out. Actually, the Gladstone bags lost in last week's semi-final, so oh, Paul had to wear both clothes. Yes. <laughs> He'll still be your fan. I think he wears Lorraine clothes at night, though. At night. Would you both stop it there, for goodness sake? Stop it, stop it. Oh, they'll be stopping wrestling, designs and chatting and laughing about television. Ban, thank you. Kill yourselves. Thank you. Let's ask some more questions. Hands back on the buzzers. <laughs> Is that the way you say it in musical lingo? Here we go. In the Sullivans, what was the name of the blonde who ran the local pub? Howard. Megan. Megan. Oh. Ma no, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Maggie. Maggie Hayward. Sorry. Never mind. In the Sullivans, the character who played Lil Duggan was Wendy. Nonnie Hazelhurst. Yes, well done. <laughs> okay, now, since we do have a grand final special guest here, we may as well put it uh, hard work. Lorraine, why don't you ask some questions? All right. Um... Noni Hazelhurst can now be seen in a children's show. Stop there, Howard. Uh, play school. Play school, yes, well done. Good one. <laughs> and one more, Lorraine? Yes. Which famous Australian redhead did I play in the miniseries The Challenge? Howard. Eileen Bond. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, well done. SPG staged a bit of a rally in that one. They moved to 61, still just behind the cone of silence at 75. Things are getting closer. Let's thank once again our special, special guest for the grand final, Lorraine Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be right back.
back with more thrills, fun, and excitement after these important words. 